it is time we show the glam bag for the month of February some love. If you haven't seen all my unboxings of Ipsy for February, they're already live. I already have uh, try-ons of the Boxy Charm by Ipsy as well as the Icon Box. You might want to go check them out because those two videos were very revealing if anything. But let's just type on in. I'm gonna start off by applying the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. I thought this was really cool because they included two for $14. You know, I know they typically would feature just the one, but look, they gave us a two pack. I'm gonna apply one today and then I'm gonna save the other for a trip that I have planned to Miami. These are really nice. The only problem is your girl talks a lot and I don't wanna hear anybody say, well, you know, you put it on wrong or whatever. The, the fact of the matter is they're really, really juicy and it's going to move around on you. It kind of is what it is. I'm gonna kind of pop those on. My brows are already on and they look really good. I'm using two of Benefit's brand new launches and I'm so excited. It launched like, what, yesterday? So stinking good. Don't worry, I filmed with it so you'll see it really, really soon as a shorts, a reels, um, a TikTok and all of that. Well, that's going on since I have to leave this on for like five to 10 minutes. I am going to hydrate my lips with the Eloise uh, lip oil that I got in the bo box. Yeah, in the box. I promise you guys I'd get better at trying lip oils and seeing whether or not I can get with it the way I've gotten with uh, skincare. Because if you're like an OG here, you know I wasn't big on skincare. It, I just, I dreaded having to do skincare. And after finding product that fixed my face, fixed my problem areas, and I found that worked because I use them consistently, girl, like I am enjoying skincare. There are certain skincare items I am obsessed with. And that's crazy because Jody was never in love with skincare. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in La Basurita because we don't need it anymore. We're gonna apply our lotion for now. I liked this. I took this out of my bag, by the way. I liked this because A, it smells really nice, but B, it doesn't stay sticky and weird on your skin. It hydrates, your skin absorbs it, and it almost feels like you have nothing on. You know, it's just, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Ay, que rico. This smells so good, like flowers. But at the same time, literally what I told you guys, like a shampoo, you know when you buy shampoo, you like, I can't be the only one that goes to the store and when you buy shampoo, before you actually purchase it, you open the lid, squeeze it just so that a little bit of air can comes out, tells you what it smells like. It smells like that shampoo there. You're like, okay, this one's a keeper because it smells that nice. I'm gonna leave this alone because my skin will absorb it in like a minute. It's almost time to remove our eye patches, eye masks. I received the Ace Beauty Face Primer. Yeah, it looks kind of like a moisturizing lotion. We are going to apply her, but I first want to see what the under eye looks like. We already know we're gonna look juicy and hydrated at first. I haven't gotten much sleep lately. I kind of have, but I haven't. It's been like disrupted sleep. So you know, you don't rest straight through for several hours. I'm hoping that these eye patches, my makeup routine and all of that can hide that and literally mask my tired under eyes. In reality, on initial, I do have a little bit of darkness. That's okay, that's completely normal, but they do look super hydrated before. They just looked dry and lumpy. It looks really good. I'm gonna apply the primer, but I'm going to avoid applying primer on the under eye area, I think in most cases. Is, that is one of the main issues I've encountered when people experience the crepey, crunchy, um, really dry and or crazy creasing under the eye is just way too much moisture down there. So if you applied an eye cream, an under eye primer or eye masks and you're allowing the serum to stay, avoid applying your face primer or your foundation under the eye. Usually that helps prevent all that unnecessary creasing and cakiness under the eye. I'm gonna go ahead, kind of press this onto the skin. It kind of feels like it would be a pore filling something, but a lotion at the same time. Oh, this dries fast, so you gotta work fast. Hold on. Esperate, I was not, I need a little more. <laughs> I was not expecting it to, I thought I could just do one of these because it's so hydrating feeling. Never mind. so just kind of tap, tap, tap and put it around. 
or say it kind of looks like I have nothing on the skin, which is typical with most primers. In certain cases, a primer will leave a little bit of a residue, like I know Smashbox has one, but it's mainly because it is a mattifying primer. So the primer itself had like a powder in it and stuff. So we're gonna move on to the face. Okay, I am blending my foundation in place. This foundation is one that's new to me. I did a full on wear test. I've got thoughts on it, so be ready because that's going live really soon. It's drugstore and it's super affordable. That's all you need to know. Anyway, so this is what she looks like on the skin. She's looking graceful. She's looking pretty. That foundation that I'm using is it's it's a found it's the foundation to try. For me to say that, it's a lot. Cause I've already done the wear test like two days ago and all I really need to do is edit the video. So it'll either go up tomorrow or the next day. But let's just say I needed to apply it on my face again. And here we go. So I know the foundation is fire. It looks great anyway. So if anything, what the primer is doing is supposed to make my foundation last longer. This skin right here is not the primer, it's the foundation. It's going to be what it's going to be. I wonder if the primer is gonna help anything at all. I will go ahead and give you guys an update in the comment section. I'll pin a comment and let you know how this primer did throughout the day. I know the foundation is amazing, but I wonder if the primer helped in any way, shape, or form. The rest of the face is on. I need to try the Rare Beauty Little Mascara Deluxe, but before doing that, I have to like pop something on the eye. I figured why not use a Dominique shade from the, what is it, the Essential Palette? I I think I wanna go shimmery today because we failed to do that last time. I wanna keep the eyes simple, but I kind of also wanna do a little bit of the most. So I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush. I'll dip into positivity. Oof, I kinda over... I'm gonna say I was being too rough and I overdid it because that right there was like picking up way too much. It had fallout, it was a mess. I'll take the, the blame for that one. I'm gonna tap that on the inner of the eye. And then I'll flip the brush over. I think I wanna go into Confident. I'll tap that one on the center and bring it out. And I'll kinda of leave it out here on the outer end of the eye, but I'll bring it up to the crease. We're gonna do the same thing on the other eyeball. And when it comes to meeting the shade Confidence, I like to tap. That way we start off with some gradients. Makes it easier for blending. Before running wild at the top, whatever's left on the brush itself, I will drag under the eye, because I don't want it to be too much. I just want to add a little something, something to the eye. If you overdo it, you may not necessarily see the effects of the mascara. I'm going to take the very same brush. See, this is one of those one and dones, you know? Take the brush on its side, and I will blend it back and forth, bring it up to the brow bone, but I'm not touching this area here. The brow bone at the beginning, so the inner brow bone. Kind of blend back and forth. See, two shades can create the most stunning, simple look. And you can use just the one brush. This is gonna be like super wearable. So for those of you who are getting the palette and you're like, I need something that I can do every single day, feel sexy, and I can't mess up, this is it. See, and then we kind of like this zhuzh it up out here. So that same shade, you're just diffusing on that outer and then you're done. So we started off looking like this and then you have this. Now we can move on to the Rare Beauty Deluxe Mascara. Here's a reminder of what the wand looks like. I'm going to apply coat number one. We're gonna do one eye at a time so we can see what the difference is. This is one coat, two coats top and bottom, and here we have three coats, top and bottom, and no, they're not getting spidery, they're not getting clumped. They're actually doing the most, and over here, I look dry, like I have nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and fix this one, but I know I had this mascara, I had the full size. Why she doesn't stand out in my brain, I don't know, but this actually seems really, re was it flaky? I don't know, but it seems really good upon application this time. Maybe I was too busy to remember, I don't know. But so far, honestly, this mascara is so, Nice. It's very rare to find one that you can do three coats, top and bottom, and it doesn't start, you know, getting all spidery and stuff. You guys know I usually stop at two and I do two and a half only. So the fact that I was able to do three full coats is a big deal. 
Okay, I'll take a little bit back. Depending on how you apply it, could start looking spicy. Maybe that's what happened. Cause this one looks beautiful and just kind of like, whew, right? And then here, certain areas started to clump up. So I think depending on the situation, depending on the condition of your lashes, how clean they are, um, I think there are gonna be multiple factors. I still think they look really pretty, but on one side, I've got some clumping and some acting up, and on the other one, it looks freaking fantastic. So I haven't narrowed down exactly what the issue is, but I still think it's nice. I've gotten as far as three coats, and I don't hate it. Now I'm just curious as to why one eye looks a certain way and the other one doesn't. So of course, I'm gonna keep testing this freaking mascara out because the curiosity is going to kill this cat. I'm not gonna stop until I figure it out. All right, my lovely. So the makeup is done. I think the, so far, I mean, it's only been like 40 minutes. So I can't sit here and say like, oh my God, the primer did the most, right? Again, check the pinned comments to see what the update is after me having worn it the entire day. That said, my makeup looks absolutely flawless. It looks really good. I'm not mad at it. I was able to use the Dominique palette once again, so that's a great excuse since they didn't add anything that I can use on my eyeballs in this box. The eye patches did seem to de puff a little bit, which is nice. So I don't have that lumpy situation I typically have under the eye, so that's a plus. The only item I didn't use was the brush, but that's only because Cam was playing with it. I remember seeing her play with it and now I can't find it. It's gonna be a serious scavenger hunt. So I just figured film without it, it's not a big deal. It's just a brush. I'm so excited for you guys to start getting your glam bags, your box of charm by Ipsy's, and your icon box. You guys are so stoked, at least the majority of you guys for this month. This month was so good, but I wanna know which tier do you think had the best variation? I'm sure the glam bag is not gonna win, but between icon and a box of charm by Ipsy, which one wins hands down. A huge thank you to my channel members, the G Squad, for joining channel memberships, supporting the channel at a higher level, and unlocking exclusive perks like additional videos behind the scenes, photos, a private community page, a badge that YouTube provides them with so that everyone knows who is a channel member, and YouTube will highlight every single one of their comments under my videos. If you're ever interested in joining channel memberships, all you really need to do is hit the join button below any of my videos, and then you're set. YouTube is gonna recommend a video they think you're going to enjoy based on your watch history here on screen and I will recommend a playlist filled with more beauty content. I think you're really gonna enjoy that so I hope you consider checking it out and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.